And so if we really care about these things, we have to be willing to make hard choices. And that means looking at the budget and caring about our priorities. And that means being willing to raise taxes if that's what we have to do, which I would be willing to do because we absolutely need to extend the program. So I don't support raising income taxes. I don't support raising taxes in our businesses. And I don't support raising property taxes through what is a so-called mansion tax. I don't disagree with the notion that we should be thoughtful about budget, uh, the budget process and about taxation. And um, we, ha we do have a surplus. And so that is a relevant fact when we talk about these things. But I guess I find a question about raising taxes in the abstract to be sort of frustrating because that can mean many things. You know, thinking about the actual debate that we had very recently, there were all these arguments about how a very minor increase in taxes on the very wealthiest in this district, most of whom live here, a, a, an increase that they wouldn't notice, an increase that's the equivalent to their bread first breakfast, uh, that that was going to drive tax flight. It's absurd. Uh, yes, tax flight can happen when you increase taxes in, in an astronomical amount, which I don't think is actually on the table or being discussed. We're talking about very modest changes to fund important priorities like childcare, like paying people who educate our children a living wage. We can do these things. Thanks, Ben. Deidre? And uh, when people say, yeah, we're going to find it in the surplus, we're going to find $160 million there. I mean, it just shows they're trying to please everybody, but not real, really give answers. And, and we need to be serious about the budget. How can you say that, Eric? You're, for, you're opposed to raising taxes, and yet you're talking about putting pre-K-3 classrooms in every school and, and fully funding so birth. Let's, How? Let, 